Good morning, everybody. Today I am sharing with you my morning routine. This is really my winter morning routine, what I've been doing winter of 2020. My morning routine changes quite frequently just to kind of keep me interested. But in general, I try to do something that nourishes my heart, my mind, my body, and my soul every morning. This is what I'm doing right now. So I typically wake up around 6.15 in the morning. My alarm starts kind of waking me up about 20 minutes before that, so around 5.55. The light will come on and then at exactly 6.15 it'll start to chirp uh, bird sounds, which is really sweet. I like to wake up this way because the light just graciously wakes me up and it's so much easier for my morning sensibilities than like a loud jarring alarm. So from there, I walk straight into the living room. I don't do any other steps, but I walk straight to the living room and I start to journal. Every morning, I sit down and I write out three pages of free thought. This is kind of an arbitrary number, but it helps me to just brain dump, get everything off of my mind into paper. So usually I like to do this first thing because my brain First thing in the morning is the most creative, the most emotionally vulnerable, and kind of the least guarded. And so I'm able to get into some depth of thinking that I might not have access to later in the day. It also serves as a great way for me to clear my mind and really get, um, you know, my anxieties quelled and everything set so that I can be more functional in the other areas of my life. At this time, I also usually pull an oracle card or a tarot card and take a few minutes to journal on that. I also ask myself what is something my heart, mind, body, and soul needs today, and then I try to make sure that I give myself each of those things um, throughout the day. Right after I do my um, journaling and my card pulling, I take a few minutes and do yoga. Every day is a little bit different. I really just listen to my body and see what it needs but the bare minimum like if I have no energy I can't do anything else is I will do a sun salutation I just think it's the perfect routine for getting all of my muscles loosened up and um, experience kind of give myself the best chance that I have at a, a relaxed day for my body I usually do more than that, but once I get started, um, I find that there are other things that I want to do, but bare minimum, I have to do one sun salutation. I like to do at least three um, and then do some other things in there that, um, depending on what my body needs that day. The next thing I do is I go into the bathroom and I just get ready, um, we get kind of washed up. So I wash my face, I brush my teeth, and get generally ready for the morning. I don't wash my face in the morning. I do just use toner, but I, you know, put on my serums and my moisturizer and all of that. I like to do this um, well before I get ready for the day because it gives it my skin a chance to just absorb all of the products before maybe I add makeup on top of it. done washing my face I head into the kitchen and I do my morning chore and I make breakfast for myself and for our little and for Obi if he's awake as well sometimes he's still sleeping um, and while the coffee brews I put all of the dishes away so Obi washes the dishes at night I put them away in the morning that system works really well for us and um, so yeah while my coffee is being brewed I'll put the dishes away most mornings I drink a cappuccino and then I'll make some kind of breakfast. Usually I have either like eggs and kale, um, oat 
oatmeal and some fruit or maybe a yogurt bowl, which is what I'm having this morning with some fruit and some grains and some chia seeds and some coconut. After breakfast is made for both the little and I, I will sit down for a little bit and drink my coffee and have breakfast and this is when I usually take some time to read. In the mornings, I always read a non-fiction book, like I'm learning something right now, I'm reading It's Okay That You're Not Okay because I am, you know, still grieving the loss of my father and kind of processing that, um, but then I'll move on to another book. Um, when this one's done and I'm just constantly learning new things in the morning. I find this really helpful because it starts my day off well. I feel like I am much more inclined to think creatively, to get inspired, and to feel like I have new ideas for the things that I want to write about or share or do. Um, it just connects me to learning and motivation first thing in the morning. Usually after that I will go and make sure the bed is made and then I'll get ready for the day. I always do hair and makeup first. This morning, honestly, I blew my hair out last night and I kind of liked the way it looked. I didn't even brush it. I liked the kind of that messy blowout look, so I kept it. And then I just did some light makeup. I have a five minute makeup routine videos that you can go watch, that's what I did today. done I just head off to the office um, usually somewhere between 8 and 10 a.m. I leave the house and go to the office to work and um, on the drive to the office it's about an eight minute drive I try to listen to either a podcast or some music or silence depending on what my soul needs that day sometimes it needs a little bit of inspiration sometimes it needs time to just be with its own thoughts and sometimes it needs a little music to feel excited about life that is my morning routine. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm going to enjoy the podcast and my beautiful drive to work, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!